Be love YouTube, it's your boy Kurt Seven here to let you lads know. You already know this. Luke Shaw and Ander Herrera have signed for Manchester United. Uh, before I get stuck into the video, lads, I just want to apologise. I'm sick at the minute, so I got this uh, bathrobe on. I'm just staying warm and uh, got the beanie on, but. Uh, not many videos coming out this week, lads. I've been sick as a dog. But anyways, don't worry about me. This is all about Ander Herrera and Luke Shaw. Mate, I am ecstatic. Uh, mate, these are the type of players that we need. You know, don't worry about Fellaini, you know, and one matter. Finally, we've got two players that we, in positions that we actually need, a proper out-and-out -out central midfielder in Ander Herrera. I think the lad's quality. He's Spanish, so... He's going to blend in well with the team with De Gea, and obviously he'll be hanging around one mat around the club rooms a lot. But uh, he's a defensive midfielder. He's tackling through the roof. He's a great passing ability. I must, I'm going to be totally honest. I haven't seen too much of him before last season. But once you know we were going to get him and that debacle, how we were in for him, we weren't in for him last season. Uh, I, I kept an eye on him this season for Atletico Bilbao. And uh, he seems very light on the ball. But once he's got the ball, he uses the ball very well. And he can tackle too. He's not afraid to get a foot stuck in either. So I'm very happy with Ander Herrera. He is finally the player we need. Don't worry about Tom Cleverley and Anderson, mate. Finally, we've got someone who's got, can, you know, he's got defensive duties in that midfield position. So uh, we can't, because let's be honest, we can't be relying on Carrick any, anymore. But uh, for me, lads, we probably need one, definitely one, uh, probably two more central midfielders. But... Uh, the other, uh, oh, by the way, we signed Ander Herrera for $28.5 million, something around that figure. He's 24 years old from Atletico Bilbao. And, uh, mate, happy days, Ander Herrera. Welcome to the uh, Theatre of Dreams, lad, and I uh, can't wait to have you. But uh, now on to the English left-back, Luke Shaw. $30 million we signed the 18-year-old from Southampton. I don't really need to talk about Luke Shaw. You guys, a lot of you guys should know who Luke Shaw is by now. Uh, mate, he played the last World Cup game for England. And that was pretty much of a dead rubber. But uh, the kid looks promising, you know. He, he can defend, you know. He can track back. Uh, mate, he's got a bit of pace about him. And he can cross a decent ball in, you know. And, and, and what I'm happy about most is Everett signed on for one more year. So I guess Everett can teach him the ropes about, not just about left back position. Because let's be honest, you know, Luke Shaw's got that down pat. But Everett can teach him around the club and, you know, things like this, you know. But uh, it's always good to have experience. That's why I wasn't so happy that Ferdinand and uh, Vidic left at the same time because you do need that experience to teach the young kids. But uh, in saying that, Luke Shaw looks one hell of a prospect. There's a lot of people talking about, is he worth the $30 Because, you know, let's be honest, $30 million for a left-back. Crazy, crazy. You know, 10 years ago, Man United paid about $30 million for Wayne Rooney. You know, the next biggest prospect. You know, the best striker in England going to be. You know, now we're paying $30 million for a left-back. Times have changed, man. Times have changed. You know, look at Louise. P uh, PSG paid $50 million for him. David Louise. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> mate, times have changed, mate. But uh, is he worth $30 million? Time will tell. I will say this, but people say, is it stupid money? It would have been more stupid if we didn't pay the 30, uh, $30 million and we didn't acquire Luke Shaw. $30 million, let's just say if he plays 10 years, works about to be $2, 3000000 million per season. Easy. Easy as, mate. We get our money back in tenfold. And, you know, he, let's be honest, guys. He's got the potential to be the next Ashley Cole of England. You know, if we got England's next, uh, next best left back for the next 10 years, happy days, 30 million, seems like a bargain. So, Ander Herrera, Luke Shaw, finally, quality signings United have bought. Uh, quality, um, how can I say, I knew that if you watched my uh, Van, uh, Louis Van Hull video, I said Louis Van Hull just doesn't buy uh, players just to bring into the squad. He builds a youth team, so he builds a dynasty. And it looks like it's heading that way. Ander Herrera, young. You know, uh, Luke Shaw, young. It's going to be interesting to see who the uh, next signings are going to be because, in my opinion, we need two more centre-backs and definitely another central midfielder. But uh, they're, they're definitely three of the most signings we need next. 
But uh, in saying that, lads, happy days. Welcome Luke Shaw and Ander Herrera to Man United. Anyways, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care and peace. <laughs>